looking into business opportunities and I was interested in something that was uh, that addressed a social problem such as obesity and I mean I I will tell you in my hometown of Charleston I mean I, be, I walk around I run a lot and I see so many people who are overweight so I was trying to find a low-cost uh, business concept that would they could possibly address uh, the problem of obesity within children and adults The staff's been amazing. I, I mean, uh, my first uh, person uh, was Ryan Mati, was the first uh, initial contact that I had here at Fresh Healthy Vending. He's uh, been amazing and uh, very encouraging. And my uh, territory coordinator, who's helping me with location, she's been amazing, been amazingly aggressive in uh, helping me uh, secure locations for my machines. Overall, um, uh, and ever since my visit here to corporate, I've uh, been very satisfied with the friendliness of the staff. First they were trying to, first educating me on their concept and why they placed the machines in specific locations. So I mean, it, it was just more in the lines of just them educating me and just really being encouraging. This is addressing a social problem severe one that we have in this country that is going to continue to grow and grow. My placement uh, person has uh, done an amazing job. Uh, she's actually, she's helped me get the locations that I have really wanted. In the past I've looked at other franchises and sometimes, I mean, you have to do all the work and all the demographics and you have to kind of find the location, then of course they come out and approve it. Here in the home office, I mean, they're just, they're getting the demographics, they're making the phone calls, and they're taking the headache away from me. The only thing I have to do is just go and show my face and say, welcome to Fresh Healthy Vending. The locations I've got have, that have been secured are the ones I want. Pretty much, it sounds like we're going after many of the hospitals in the medical center, of course, there in Charleston. Uh, we do have some prep schools on the list uh, as well that we're looking to pursue. But uh, yeah, I've got the locations I I've won. Very much so, and I'm very excited about it, and a lot of other friends that I've been around that I've told what I'm going to be doing is very excited about it too because, um, you know, we just, we, we need to not just offer the snack, we just need to educate adults and children on this problem so we can get children started young and trying to get, just really much, just try to get this country healthy again. I do feel comfortable with the level of support. I mean, I can even tell, even with my times here at training, I mean that they are they're well trained and they are committed to um, to their concept and to helping us franchisees just succeed out there in, in our given markets. I'm much more comfortable with it than I was. I mean, when I first looked at a vending machine operation, I was a little bit like, eh, I'm not too gifted on the hands-on. Uh, side of things. Our operation coordinator did an amazing job training me and all that stuff. It just made it look easy and it, it really it really is easy but also the, the plus to it as well is um, after they train you and when the distributor c comes to deliver your machine you get retrained again. That is the best concept so that way you can refresh your memory on everything you learned and then that way when you're starting to do business it'll be a piece of cake. Definitely. Uh, right now, I'm currently at 10 machines right now, and I'm looking to expand in throughout, further out in Charleston, in my territory, and, uh, and hopefully into even more territories.